Welcome to the Desperate Actor Podcast with your host, Steve Des, taking you from where you are to where you want to be with the Desperate Actor Program. Go to DesperateActor.com for more information. And now, here's your host, Steve Des. Hey, welcome to the Desperate Actor Podcast. It's me, Steve Des from DesperateActor.com. And today, we're going to be talking about learning to prioritize. So, your career and your life is going to be full of different things. You know, we have all these different pillars that we are constantly trying to self-fulfill and trying to achieve the max out of those. And that is happiness. That is health. That is wealth, that is love, and that is so many other beacons like spirituality and lifestyle and all these different things that we're trying to fully, fully, fully get to the highest brim possible so we can live this extraordinary life that we visualize and we seek so much. And you have to learn to prioritize because This industry in general does not apologize for anything. You could be on sets working through, you know, holidays, through people's birthdays, through so much that maybe a another person that prioritized their family, you know, they are not willing to give that time up. They much more prefer to actually go and spend that time with their family members or you know their their wife their kids uh, because that's more important to them and that's okay but you have to know your priorities so what is your priorities do you prioritize more the industry or do you prioritize more your family do you prioritize more your health or you prioritize more, more your wealth and don't be saying i prioritize everything everything i prioritize no because that means you're definitely failing at something uh balance is very difficult to achieve it's not impossible but it's very difficult to achieve because especially me i'm talking now about me in particular um every time i'm doing really well somewhere i'm typically failing somewhere else so when i went all in on my health i was failing in my love life (laughs) or when i was like all in in my love life I was failing in my career (laughs) and when I was like all the way in my career I was failing at my health you know so there there there, for me balance has been a difficult thing to achieve and it's not now until I'm much older that I'm getting to just slow down a little bit because I was always a person that would always go 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 and the reason the other areas of my life will be failing is because i didn't pay enough attention i didn't have the self-awareness to know that those things were failing i was just like oh they're okay they're all right let me just focus on this that's going all right okay i'm getting a lot of opportunities in the acting world so let me just go and do those and ignore everything else and i was just that type of person that i would just laser focus so much on one aspect of my life that the other ones would just crumble and fell apart it was very difficult for me to actually prioritize family for example because i was just such addicted to the industry and the opportunities and the cash that it brings and just overall how other friends make me feel you know because i will be on a tv show on a commercial or something like that and like i will get text messages of friends or you know a facebook post or something going like yo i just saw you oh i i i I flipped channels and i saw you there i was pumping gas and i saw you on, on on the little screen or something like that or i was just on youtube and your commercial popped up so things like that always 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 as a fellow actor you know that really increases your dopamine and you're like addicted to it you're like oh yeah i want to keep working and stuff so people keep seeing me and keep sending me these awesome messages but you also have to learn to prioritize what are the things in your life that you prioritize the most because 
those things have to become non-negotiable. Meaning, if you prioritize family above anything, the majority of jobs, if not all jobs that you do get when there's a family event happening, you might want to not do that job because your family is your priority and you're gonna be there primarily. But if that job pays for bills that you know you need to pay medical bills for your family or you need to secure a future for your family, then perhaps you make that little sacrifice that day just to get that job so then you can give that cash uh, towards the family, to invest it within your family. So in a way, you're still prioritizing family even though the time you're spending it is somewhere else. So, but you need to learn how to prioritize. What are the things that you prioritize? And what once you get your priorities in order, like actually have them in physical form, so write them down, uh, whether it's your computer or on a piece of paper, somewhere in a journal, somewhere that you can actually see it there physically, then you slowly, the ones that you kind of want to push up, see how you can incorporate within your own lifestyle a way that you can handle all of it of course you're not going to have the exact perfect balance because like i said prior it's not impossible to achieve balance but it's quite difficult uh, but the easy steps is by you actually seeing it so the more you see it in front of you you can actually then be able to pick point and nitpick how you're going to introduce these things towards your lifestyle. So for example, in California, I was always, 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 always kind of in a rush at the beginning of my career because I was still figuring things out. I, I needed as much time as possible just to know how the industry worked because I didn't have a guide. I didn't have a step-by-step program or anything like that telling me hey you do this hey approach this agent this way no i was like trying and failing <laughs> a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot i did have mentors that along the way were coaching me or giving me little advices here and there that were actually helping me kind of you know get to the points that i wanted to get in my career but even then, my time with those mentors, it's limited because they have other priorities in their life. You know, I'm not their biggest priority. So the same way with you guys, like what are those things that you prioritize the most? And now in my life, you know, my priority is primarily more than anything, my well-being. Because if I'm not good mentally and health-wise, I'm not able to perform my best. I'm not able to get these jobs from the industry. I'm not able to show up as the boyfriend or husband or son or brother um, or person in the world that I want to be, you know? So I prioritize more than anything, more than any job, more than anything in this world, I prioritize my well-being. So if I'm not okay mentally and I don't have my health in check, I'm not able to perform to the best of my abilities. So I understand that health equals wealth. It's not really the dollars that you have in your bank account, it's your health. Because believe me, you can have millions and millions and millions of dollars. But if you're in your deathbed and you only have 30 minutes, you will give all that money away for you to be okay. And when you are in those type of situations, that's when your priorities change. That's when you realize you need to reorganize your life. And I don't want you guys to be in that position ever, but I want you guys to really, really put down on a piece of paper or somewhere your priorities and implement a plan where you're going to fully put this priority in congruence with your lifestyle. Now, every day I exercise, every single day. I'm either in a track, I'm either doing some yoga or stretching, I'm in a gym, um, you know, it's part of my lifestyle. It's so ingrained that it's like, if I don't do it, it's kind of off. Because <laughs> I, I, I made it so part of my lifestyle that it's like at a certain point of the day, typically in the afternoon, early afternoon, I'm out. 
I'm out running, I'm out walking, I'm out lifting weights, I'm out doing yoga, I'm playing basketball, volleyball, ping pong, whatever. But I am moving my body. I'm dancing, doing ecstatic dance, whatever it is, I'm moving my body. <laughs> I, I make sure I'm eating clean. I'm eating, I'm eating well. I'm drinking, right now I'm drinking my kombucha, you know, all bougie and everything, I know. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just saying these things because that's why I prioritize now. Before, I didn't even care what I was eating. Like I remember early in my career, I was so, 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 so in my, in my mind and also money wise, but really more in my mind than anything. I was so poor that I will eat whatever, you know, ramen noodles, uh, leftover chicken, uh, really bad Chinese food, whatever it was, like I will eat it <laughs> and just keep it moving. And then when I will get sick, I, you know, I would be like, why am I sick? Well, bad timing. I thought getting sick was a normal thing. I haven't gotten sick in years at this point. Thankfully, I'm so grateful for that. But a lot has to do because of the change in my lifestyle. A lot has to do because I reorganize my priorities. There was a moment in my life I will put the industry number one. Whatever the industry demanded from me, I would just go and do it. It didn't matter what it was, what it was. I didn't question anything. I would just go and do it because that was my priority. But now that I reorganize my life and I have different priorities, I understand deep down inside that for me, at least for me, for this person speaking to you, Steve Des from Desperate.com, me, my priority right now, number one, more than anything in this world, is my well-being and that's overall my mental health that is my overall body health uh even my sexual health that's also part of it all these different aspects that compose health and well-being for me all those things are fully 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 ingrained into my priorities, my number one thing. Because no matter what, if I don't have that in order, everything else for me is gonna fall apart. So I need that in order for me to feel amazing, in order for me to go crush auditions and callbacks and bookings, in order for me to show up as the best version of myself to those meetings with those agents and managers and publicists and all those people that are gonna help me propel my career forward. So prioritize, re reorganize your priorities and know what are those things that matter the most to you. Do it today. Don't waste another day on this. Please do this exercise. I promise you that once you fully understand your priorities and move towards them, the easier of a career, of a life, of a lifestyle you're going to have and the most blissful of an experience you'll have here on earth. And what the Desperate Actor podcast brings to the table is basically give you a blueprint and a step-by-step -step guide on how to maximize your career in Hollywood. This particular podcast is primarily for those people that are interested into breaking into the Hollywood industry and get to know the secrets and things that they need to know in order to maximize their career and go from desperate to a working professional actor. We have guides, we have books, we have programs and courses available for you at DesperateActor.com. That's D-E-Z-P-E-R-A-T-E-A-C-T-O-R.com. DesperateActor.com. And we're going to be basically all the time giving you tips and tricks, not only in our podcast, but also in our YouTube channel, our TikToks, Instagram, and every social media platform that we develop here at Desperate Actor Incorporated. Thank you so much for being part of this journey. We're going to be sharing not only my particular journey, but the journey of other actors as well. We're going to be interviewing people in the very near future in the podcast that are involved in Hollywood somehow, some way, whether they're involved directly in Hollywood or they're working in different industries such as London, Atlanta, 
Canada, even Colombia. There's a vast majority of people working in the film industry all over the world. And that's why I want to bring the Desperate Actor podcast to help you see that this dream is possible no matter where you're at. So if you want more information about what we're doing here at Desperate Actor, don't forget to subscribe to this podcast, like it, rate it five stars, and tell us what you think about the information that we're sharing, not just here, but all over our ecosystem. And if you want more information on how you can get involved and how you can get your career started, just go to DesperateActor.com for more information regarding to our programs, coaching, books, and much more. So thank you so much for being part of this incredible journey. The Desperate Actor podcast will be uploading episodes every single week. So make sure to stay tuned, subscribe, and tell all your friends about all the amazing opportunities, tips, tricks, and hacks that we're going to give you right here in the Desperate Actor Podcast. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your year.